three are unusually sunny London. Well, say how nice and sunny it is. It's Beautiful. Unusual. It's unusual. We've had really oppressive weather recently and it's all given us a bit of a headache. It's a nice change to have a bit of sun. And good because it's festivals. Your festival rewind is this weekend and actually V Festival is on this weekend too. So for all of you heading out to V Festival or rewind, have a lovely time in the sun. Oh, look, I'm still wearing my pinny. Thanks for not telling me. <laughs> Sorry about that. Right, here we go. I think it's going to be 28 degrees tomorrow. Yes, which of course is going to cause a bit of a problem because I thought I had what I was going to wear. Um, I, I, you know, although I've been told layers. Layers are the thing to go with clothing because of course that's what we're here to talk about today and um, and to show you what we've come up with. A la la la. <laughs> Maybe I could be on stage at the festival, singing. I always felt I'd want to do that. Be a backing. <laughs> the front, not the front one. No, no, no. Anyway, without further ado, well, I've got to find the Wellington boots first. Or should we just call that wellies? So my lovely friend Fiona found a pair. Actually, she doesn't know who they belong to. They're not hers because she <laughs> needed hers. So she's lent me these. Are they and men's? Are they men's? Well, I'm a bit worried that they actually are. Do you know what you're going to be called? Bigfoot Al. Bigfoot Al. <laughs> well, I've been called worse, I'm sure. Um, oh! Oh! Oh, no! <laughs> no, that was my teeth. <laughs> That's awful! <laughs> oh dear. Can you see Susie Watson mug? And you've got it all over me. Let's see what we're going to wear to our festival. Well, what I'm wearing to my festival and what Lucy would wear if she was going to a festival, but she's not. Bing! Magically transformed very quickly into our festival look. This is what Mum is actually wearing to the festival. And let's put up a picture so everyone can see. So, what I'm wearing, a good old pair of M&S jeggings. Um, yeah, and these are a great revelation to me because A, they've, they've got the same kind of fabric, well, they're jean fabric, but stretchy, all important. Um, and I think they were £22.50, uh, which is fantastic. So again, I'm gonna go and buy another pair. Narrow, they're slim legged, so perfect for wearing with, with wellies. I'm, I've also teamed, teamed, who says that? Um, a kind of cami vest, a long one from Primark. Primarché. On top is a very old favourite t-shirt of mine actually, uh, which I have to be honest, I got in Greece. Um, Similar stars are around at the moment. So short at the front and long at the back, which I think is trendy. And it's, I think that's trendy, isn't it? Something like that. Um, and then topped off with a glittery, I thought quite festively, summery cardi from White Company. Don't forget. Oh, don't forget my festival earrings we talked about the other day from Shenovix Jewellery. We're wearing gold, it's very festival. Oh, look. okay. And obviously my trusty Ray-Bans. Do you know, I had a pair of these in the 80s and I wish I'd kept them. So that's me. So let's go on to Lucy. Let's have a look at the photograph of Lou. Okay, so let me talk you through my look. Always be prepared. So I've actually got jeans on, which my jeans are from Topshop. They are stretchy. So it means that I don't have to do, um, I can do my dancing with ease and uh, comfortably. Not that I'm, yeah, not that mm -hmm. I'm really going to be stretching in them or anything like that. But now, I know that you can get Topshop, Topshop offices in the UK and in America now. Um, it has been for a while actually. Yeah. But not in Italy. Now, Italy, get on it. Being at university there, quite handy, student, you know. I thought I'd, I'd rock the bandana. And that looks fantastic on you. I've got the bandana on. I think you can get these just from anywhere. You can order them on Amazon, I've seen already. Um, I don't actually know where this particular one is from, but I do know you can get them from Amazon for about two pounds or something. You, I really do actually think I am too old to rock the bandana. I like pinky and perky. Well, we're not, because we're not going to the same place. See, look, it all gets caught up, doesn't it? No. Look, look at that. What do I look like? I'm sorry. No. No. Look. No. I'll be sticking with keeping my ray pants on my head. So I'm also wearing, actually, an H&M top, which I really like, because at the bottom it's got some fun festival-y 
I don't quite know what that pattern sort that of is. crochet crochet thing but it like, covers up those areas sometimes that we all worry about uh, uh, overindulging in summer so um, and I've also did forget I've gone glittery oh that's brilliant I haven't done any any makeup properly stuff at all and a little bit of red to match my hair oh just yes to finish. obviously I showed you the other day um, how to style hair with my Babyliss Pro uh, Perfect Curls and I've done it all today. The one thing that I would put in my bag for the day, what's it called? Dry shampoo by Batiste. You can get travel sizes too, can't you? Yep. There was no way you were going to be washing your hair during the festival. Oh, what will I be taking? Prevention for medical emergencies. I'm well known for, for, for that. Um, you can always rely on me for the first aid kit. I'll be taking some uh, hand wipes. I will also be taking, that sounds dreadful, so don't tell anybody, but I'll also be taking some earplugs. Yeah. Earplugs? Yeah, I found some. Well, you know, I don't know. So that's a worry. Maybe I need to go and get, yeah, get my checked. hearing checked or something. And I can't think of anything else particularly. So I think that's it. Our next two blogs will be on. We've got first blog will be on our makeup. What is in our makeup oh, bag currently? Yes. And then this, the second one, which we've had a lot of requests for, Dr. Dre Beats. Or Dr. Beats. Maybe, maybe actually, I need to go and see Dr. Dre about my ears for his. I'm sure Dr. Dre will be happy to see you. I think you should book an appointment and have it just. Look him up online and just... Well, obviously, he obviously knows about hearing, using those, what look like, sort of old pilot um, headphones. To be sound so counselling. Well, Can counselling? Cancelling. Cancel. <laughs> okay. I mean, what on earth has been going on? Because everything's gone back to the 80s. Maybe a bit of 90s. So um, what's happened in the... 2000s. Why That's doesn't anyone want to do anything? That is a question we are going to have to answer then. So maybe someone can answer that. Please for us. tweet us if you know the answer. Please tweet us at Mum and Lou to uh, help us out. Maybe on this quest to help you find out that answer. And I'm going to book an appointment with Dr. Dre. Yes, apparently a thousand on Facebook. Fa Facebook. Yeah. So thank you very much for everybody that's clicked like. We really appreciate yes, it, and we hope so that much. we can keep delivering. Um, videos. <laughs>